Hello class, this is section 7.1 and we are going to discuss the Laplace Transform Dictionary. So Laplace Transforms are really a way to go from differential equations to algebraic equations and vice versa. And we've calculated a few Laplace Transforms already and we have a little table over here. There's one in your textbook as well. So on the left column we have the function, on the right column the Laplace Transform. So we, you're going to have to get a little bit of practice with going from one world to the other, to the world of uh, differential equations and to, and to the world of uh, algebraic equations in the, t in the form of Laplace transforms. So let's see what it means. So if you want to calculate the Laplace transform of 2e minus 3 t, you would just write down the function like this and look at the table. So we see that we want to use the EAT, the EAT um, column here, and that translates to 1s minus a. In our case, a is going to be minus 3. So we have just 2 times 1 over s plus 3. And so the Laplace transform of Laplace of 2e minus 3t is just 2 over s plus 3. It works similarly going the other way too. So let's look at the inverse transform of 1 over s cubed. Now we have to look at the right column and see what function on the left it corresponds to. And here we see that the term that looks most promising is this one. So we need the s to the 3 in the bottom, so we need to set n equals 2. But that will give us a 2 factorial on the, on the numerator. So we have to adjust the function a little bit. So this is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of 1 half of 2 s cubed. And the reason we're doing that again is that the closest function that we have on the right column has an n factorial on the numerator. So, the n, so we need um, n equals 2 to get the, uh, the cubed in the denominator, but that gives us a 2 in the numerator. So we just adjust it as so. But that's fine, because we can take the half out and just have this. And 2 is of course the same as 2 factorial. And this just gets us 1 half, and we look at our table on our right we have t to the n for integer n and n equals 2. So this is just going to be 1 half t squared. So the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s cubed is just going to be half t squared and it's uh, pretty straightforward that way. Let's look at another example that's very similar. So we have the inverse Laplace transform of 2 over s squared plus 9. We look at the right column to see what functions look the most similar. and you can see that this one does. So we have s squared plus 9, so we need k equals 3 here. k equals 3 for this, for this column. Let me erase the old ones. So we have 3 over s squared plus 9 in this column, so we need to get a 3 in the numerator here. And this is going to be 3 halves times, sorry, this is going to be 2 thirds times 3 over s squared plus 9. So now we have the 3 in the numerator. But this is just going to be equal to 2 thirds Laplace inverse of 3 over s squared plus 3 squared. And according to our table, this gets us sine kt with k equals 3, so this should just be 2 thirds sine 3t. Now of course you'll be given the table, it's in your book and it will be in your test. Make sure that you have the ability to move from one side of the table to the other. It's really not that difficult once you've had some practice.